Now, I can show you the picture of this. I can show you the picture of this. But the answer is not what you're interested in, or the answer shouldn't be what you're interested in. What you should be interested in is how are we going to mentally walk through this thing and get a picture for it, okay? So therefore, what I'm going to ask you to do is draw with me one, two, three, four, four little axes, okay? Um, which we're going to use to develop slowly the idea of what this thing should look like, okay? Four little axes. Like this, one, two, three, four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this step by step. I'm going to build it step by step. And this is the way that I'm encouraging you to think about it. Because it won't do for me just to land on the answer. I want you to understand the way I think about it. So to begin with, I'm going to think about log base 2 of x. Right? I just want to think about this guy normally. And we're pretty comfortable with this idea. Right? We know what the basic shape looks like, we know where the asymptote is, and we also know where the one only intercept is. So far so good. But now what I want to do is add layers of complexity until I get to this thing. So the first thing that gets changed, again like brackets, you start close in and then you move further out. The first thing that gets changed is this minus one. Right? That's a shift. What direction is it in? It's to the right. It's horizontally because it's mucking with the x, and that minus one tells me go that way. So what that does is it changes, <coughs> excuse me, the asymptote. It's no longer at x equals zero. Now it's at x equals one, and it also changes the intercept, which is no longer at one. It's now at two, and that's it. That's all that's changed. This is log base two of x minus one. I'm going to continue expanding out. What's the next thing that changes? It's this minus sign, isn't it? Right? So what effect does that minus sign have on the whole thing? It's a vertical flip, isn't it? Right? Because actually what it's affecting is this f of x, the whole thing. So therefore, um, this vertical asymptote, if you flip that upside down, it, it's still where it is at x equals 1. And if you look at the intercept, if you flip that upside down, well, it's still at the same spot. All that changes is the stuff around it. Are you OK with that? So this guy here is log, sorry, minus log base 2 of x minus 1. Are you happy? And I know where that is. OK, lastly now, and I'm actually ready to draw this thing, I'm going to add 2. What effect does that have on the graph? It shifts it vertically up 2 units, right? When you take this guy here, right, where is that going to go, this vertical asymptote? It's going to be in the exact same spot because it goes on forever. So now that this is my last graph, I'm actually going to label it. Okay. Um, the question, very helpfully, it even reminds you, hey, give me two points with the exact coordinates. It's, it, it reminds you that's an important thing to put on the graph. Okay. Now, thankfully, we already have one of those points. Because look, you told me for this one the x-intercept was 2. Well, this whole thing is going to move up two units, right? So that is no longer going to be, going to be 2 comma 0. It's going to be 2 comma 2. Right? So that looks like 2 comma 2 to me. Are you happy with that? And that shape, it's going to continue going like that. So I've got one point. I'm going to need some other information here. So now I need to know where that is. How do I work out that? This is an x-intercept. The normal way I find x-intercepts is by letting y equal 0, so, uh, or f of x equal 0. So if I say that, then minus log base 2 of x minus 1 equals negative 2. Log base 2 of x minus 1 equals 2. Someone want to help me out here? Very good. So x is going to be 4 plus 1. Are you OK with that? So my scale's not the greatest, but that is a point there. And uh, that's actually 5 comma 0. So I'm home. I'm done. Did I label my asymptote? Yeah, I'm done. Let me just double check. Happy times. Now, if you wanted, because some people don't classify that as, as a point, you could add one more on. Um, you've got 2 comma 2 and 5 comma 0. What other point would you like? Pick a point, any point. x equals 4. So all you have to do is, is chuck that in here. Uh, I'm going to suggest that x equals 4 is going to be fine, but it's a hard value to choose because you'll get 4 minus 1, which is 3. That's gross. I don't want to do log base 2 of 3. So instead, I'm going to choose this. 
You see why that's more useful? Because I'm going to get f of 3 being minus log base 2 of 2. That's handy. Plus 2, this is minus 1, plus 2, this is 1. 